and I'll give you one more excuse. You notice I haven't talked about the environment. That's because I had an image a long time ago of a Greenpeace activist clearing away GMO field trials in Europe secretly and then celebrating in the pub and eating genetically engineered corn chips. It's easy to get people to hate Monsanto, now Bear. It's easy to talk about the outrage, but to get people to change their diet requires a behavior change messaging linked to our health. But the environmental impact is worse. If you introduce a GMO into the environment, the genes become a permanent feature of the gene pool. It gets passed on generation after generation. The only thing that lasts longer than a contaminated gene pool is extinction. Right now, the biotech industry has the goal of genetically engineering everything. All the insects, livestock, trees, fish, flowers, algae, bacteria. And they have new tools. CRISPR-Cas9, a gene editing tool. Cheap, easy, dangerous. Because they have told everyone, oh, it's so precise and so predictable. We should just call it breeding. It's not really a GMO. Look the other way. If that happens, and we cannot identify a gene-edited food, there is a gold rush into the genome right now. All these groups are trying to identify gene function, make a change, patent it, and get their crops or products out in the market to make money before the patent expires. If we don't act, we will be giving something new to the next generation. They will have replaced nature. Eliminated the billions of years of evolution products and replaced it with designer organisms designed by companies like Bayer and DuPont, designed for greater profit and control. The number one most common result of genetic engineering is surprise side effects. So there's a poet that wrote a poem about being woken up in the middle of the night by his great-great-grandson, asking, what did you do when you found out? I submit to you that going to Washington to try and change this administration's ideas about GMOs, or the Obama administration, or the Bush administration, or any of the administrations since Reagan, is impossible because it's locked down already. So how did we get the tipping point? Individuals, passionate individuals who care about health. I'm guessing that's you. I'm guessing that because you're here in this room or watching this online, you are a passionate individual about health. And we are in charge. The biggest epidemic around this whole topic is the thought that it's, it's someone else's responsibility and I'm sure they're doing a good job. Or even if they're not, it's not my responsibility. That's the epidemic that is the basis of GMOs around the world. I go to other countries. I've been to 45 countries. I'll speak to a regulator. We don't have to regulate GMOs because your FDA says it's safe. You go to the FDA. We don't have to regulate it because Michael Taylor, Monsanto's former attorney, later their vice president, was in charge of GMO policy, and he allows the businesses to regulate to decide whether GMOs are safe. You look at their research, it's all rigged. No one is in charge. No one is taking responsibility. So this is my call to action. Please do something about this. This is not just your health and your family's health. And it is huge. You've seen those diseases there. If GMOs and Roundup contributed to 10% of the growth of those diseases, it's an epidemic proportions. 
please do something. And my recommendation, and the reason why I spent years creating it with Amy Hart, my recommendation is it's all in the movie, Secret Ingredients. More powerful than this lecture. More, it is, we do pre and post test studies on audiences that see it, and everyone's like, okay, I want to switch. So as I finish now, I want to ask you to rate yourself from one to 100. What percentage do you want your, and you plan on your diet being organic going forward? How many people want low percentage, one to 20, raise your hand? 20 to 40. No one has raised their hand yet, by the way. 40 to 60. Couple, 60 to 80. A few more, 80 to 100. And they have it. Congratulations, give yourself a hand. And lastly, how active do you plan to be getting this information out? How important is it to you? How many people are low motivation for that? Zero to 20, raise your hand. No one, 20 to 40. 40 to 60, a few. 60 to 80, and 80 to 100. Most of you, another hand. So, sign up for responsibletechnology.org. We'll give you a lot of information to share. But the movie, secretingredientsmovie.com, there's a few here. That would be the tool that I think will work the most efficiently. Because that's why, and I believe it, because that's why I created it. Thank you all very much. Safe eating. <laughs>